What is up all of my prestigious peeps out there? It is me, Prestigious PG, and I've got my uh, reaction to the um, new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the uh, Pokemon Presents from today. So, let's talk about it. Uh, we got an update on the Pokemon World Championships this year, and um, there's going to be a Pikachu event in the um, Pokemon Unite game. Um, Mewtwo and Pokemon Cafe mix, and um, new event coming to Pokemon Masters. Um, apparently there was this uh, trailer which showed uh, red on top of um, Mount Silver and a uh, shadow, shadowy silhouette. And um, apparently there are some people who are saying that this uh, silhouette could be Ash, based on Ash's appearance in both the... Um, Pokemon Masters game and um, the po Pokemon Journeys anime because the uh, trainer appears to be wearing a hat, a pair of shorts, and sneakers. Now, it could be Ash, but it could also be Gold. Let's not forget, uh, in Pokemon Gold and Silver, you do battle Red on top of Mount Silver, and that could be what this trailer could be uh, making reference to. And Gold, yes, wears a hat and shorts and sneakers in Pokemon Gold and Silver. Now, um, I could be wrong. It could be Ash or it could be Gold. It, it could be uh, hinting towards a future event in the game. But I haven't really played Pokemon Masters in quite a couple of years. I mean, I lost interest in it, so it really is hard to tell, to be honest, what it could be. I guess we'll just have to find out when the event is confirmed. Could it be Ash or could it be Gold? And now we go on to the main event of this uh, video. Uh, new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Finally we get the name of the new region. It's called the Paldea region. The Paldea region appears to be based on Spain and Portugal. Um, Right here is a uh, map of the Paldea region. Now, before I go any further on this, uh, on the map here, here's of course the uh, two legendary Pokemon, uh, Corridon and Maradon. Both appear to be based on uh, the past and the future. And, um, and we got some new Pokemon confirmed. We got um, Satitan, Attack on Satitan, and um, we got, I'm not sure if you can see this uh, really well, we got Fido, uh, who has uh, donuts all, uh, appears to have donuts all over him. Donut ears, donut neck, donut tail. Donuts for uh, Fido. And of course, I already showed the Titan. And um, we got a, uh, a Paldean um, variant of Whooper. Its uh, whiskers appear to be crossbones, and it's a poison type. So, yep, the Paldean regions want to have uh, regional variants as well, which makes me wonder if it's the uh, Paldean Meowth, because we've seen a Meowth in the last two games for uh, the for the Alola region and the Gala region. Uh, so anyways, um, we also got uh, a new gimmick this time. Uh, terrestrialized uh, Pokemon, which appears to be a uh, crystallized, um, which appears to be all crystallized uh, jewel-like Pokemon. I don't know if you can see it that well. So yeah, um, this, I gotta say, is a very unique looking um, uh, gimmick this time around. I'm guessing the um, terrestrialized Pokemon will be the um, uh, this generation's um, answer to uh, Mega Evolution from X and Y, um, Z move from Sun and Moon, and um, Dynamax from Sun and, from uh, Sword and Shield. Now imagine these, uh, imagine the uh, terrestrialized shiny Pokemon. That'll definitely give a very new meaning to the word shiny. Anyways, um, 
the legendary you'll get to ride around in the um, Paldea region you'll be able to run around on the land uh, explore the water and fly in the air so yep something we did in um, in the lat in Legends Arceus a while back and since there's gonna be online multiplier we can even race our friends ask your coach in my sports city studios uh, Thomas and Talker, we're going to have ourselves a little race on top of uh, our new Pokemon. Uh, Cry Cry on or Crydon, depending on the uh, game we choose. And now, on to something interesting. Uh, in the uh, in the map of the uh, Paldea region, Paldea region, um, there appears to be a very unique looking uh, center here in the map. Uh, you notice that uh, clouds in the center, there has to be some kind of importance to this uh, spot here in the center of the Matt, what could it be? Could it perhaps be uh, connected to the legendaries of this region? Or could it perhaps have something to do with um, with the uh, uh, terrestrialized uh, gimmick of, Pokemon, of the new Pokemon games? Or could it perhaps have something to do with uh, time travel? I mean, that could also be a good theory. But this is all just speculation. We'll just have to find out when the games come out this November. Also, they said that this game's gonna have uh, three uh, three things. The first thing that they mentioned will be the uh, gym challenge. Eight gyms once again, and um, we can choose whichever gym uh, to challenge for. So no longer will the games tell us which uh, town or city to go to. We have the full freedom to choose wherever we go. And also, um, as for the last two uh, challenges, the next two, well, they didn't mention anything about them. I guess that either they'll talk about that in a future trailer, or it could all just be a secret that we might have to find out for ourselves. Perhaps maybe one of the challenges could involve um, time travel. I mean, that could be a possibility. And now, one other thing I want to uh, mention in regards to um, in regards to the map of the um, Paldea region. Now, I want you to take a look at the upper left-hand corner. Now, you notice these clouds over what appears to be uh, a canyon of sorts. Why is there clouds over that uh, corner? Now, here's the thing. The Paldea region appears to be based on Spain and Portugal. Now, there is another country in Europe that's also connected to Spain. And that uh, country is, of course, France. As you can see here on the world map, there's Spain and Portugal, and there's France. And France is the uh, country that Pokemon X and Y's Kalos region is based upon. Now, for those of you who uh, uh, may remember, uh, the Kalos region, um, there was a lot of... Uh, unsolved mysteries from the Kalos region the bottom uh, the bottom half of the uh, Kalos region, region southern Kalos apparently has been the speculation of amongst many theor uh, theorists in regards to uh, what could be the uh, beneath uh, below the, um, the Kalos region after all there are a lot of unsolved mysteries and loose ends that never really got tied up in uh, Pokemon X and Y. Now we all thought we were going to re-explore the Kalos region in Sun and Moon, but 
that never happened. And we also thought that the Kalos region would be uh, below uh, the Gallo region and Sword and Shield, but that didn't happen either. So could we perhaps be uh, re-exploring the um, Kalos region in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Could it also be one of the uh, three uh, challenges in Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet as mentioned? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see for ourselves. I'm excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, new Pokemon, open world Pokemon region. So yep, this is definitely looking like a, the uh, Pokemon game we've all been waiting for for a long time. Anyways, as always, be prestigious, stay prestigious, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.